I, I definitely did grow up uh, fascinated by American culture. I'm a, I'm a bit of a, a marabou, like a, like a weeb for America, kind of. This guy has the understanding of foreign policy uh, of like a 12 year old. What the f What the f is wrong with this dude? Didn't he go to war and like literally lose his eye because some Mujahideen, a brave f***ing soldier, f***ed his eye hole with their f Isn't that how he lost his f***ing eye? Because he got his f***ing eye hole? America deserved 9-11, dude. I'm saying it. Are you are you guys comfortable with that? I'm a bit of a, a marabou, like a like a weeb. As you could see from the introduction, Lasan Abi is a very well spoken, calm, cool, and collected, incredible young man who has a totally normal sized head proportionate to the rest of his body. My head is a normal sized head. It in case you're not aware, Lasan Abi is a socialist millionaire who lives in a $2.7 million mansion and drives a $200,000 Porsche Taycan. Ah, uh, la la la, wait till I get my money right. So, just not a socialist, basically. However, he wants his fans and everyone else to believe that he is, in fact, a socialist. But we'll get to that later on. Lasan Abi's rise to stardom was not one of the traditional content creator. In case you're not aware, this man is essentially only famous because of his uncle, Cenk Uger. Yes, you heard that right, Cenk Uger. What the f is a Cenk Uger? What the fuck is a Cenk Uger? Cenk is the creator of the Young Turks, which is by far the worst political news network to ever be created. And I really mean that. Look at their most viewed videos of all time. You'll notice that a majority of these videos have absolutely nothing to do with politics. That is because Cenk and his crew of NPC political commentators are objectively, mind-numbingly uninteresting and predictable. I don't respect women, specifically who voted for a man who is going to be on trial for assaulting a child. A yeah. Like, let, let's talk and, about grown-ass women who, because what the Dave, Dave Chappelle said, I well... I think that charge has got dropped. I mean, I think she's not going to pursue it. Now, I know none of us are here to learn about Chenk, so just to quickly recap Chenk's entire 52 years of life on this planet, basically, Chenk wrote an article claiming that the Armenian genocide never happened in writing while sober, while also being a fully grown adult with a fully developed brain. How it is possible to deny the deaths of what is estimated to be above 1 million human beings, I'm not sure. But I've even included a link to the exact newspaper his article was written in in the description down below. And just in case you're not too well researched on the Armenian genocide situation, it did in fact happen. Now that we understand who Lasan Abi's mentor is and establish Lasan's foundation for his captivating and thought-provoking political views, let's jump right into it. Transphobia, transphobic, transphobic, transphobia, transphobic, 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 a little bit like a little transphobic. Don't get so mad about it. Everyone is transphobic. This is number one bullshit. Okay. Everyone's transphobic. A lot of people have transphobic attitudes. Trans people are transphobic before they recognize that they're trans. They have internalized transphobia. Is Hasan considering himself socialist? No, I'm a capitalist, bro. I love capitalism, dude. It's my it's my favorite thing. It's like a kink, really. As I mentioned before, Hassan is a socialist millionaire who lives in a 3,800 square foot mansion in Los Angeles. Dude, this is like unimaginable wealth, dude. How the f do people make this much money? 2.9 million dollars near Las Vegas, dude. Oh my fuck, dude. You can buy a. I think we can all admit nobody needs a 4,000 square foot mansion in Los Angeles. Unless you have like five kids and you're some big shot movie actor or something, it's not exactly a necessity in my opinion. Or is having a top trim level $200,000 2022 Porsche. Like was the $100,000 4S version just not good enough? And I'm no Porsche expert, so I'm not too familiar with the differences, but something tells me that the 4S is still a pretty damn nice car. And let's not forget, with that additional $80,000, assuming each meal costs $5, you could feed 16,000 homeless people. So Hassan, I just wanted to personally thank you for not feeding the homeless, yet being a socialist.
probably aware, a socialist is someone who essentially believes in the redistribution of wealth. So he's basically an advocate for rich people giving money to poor people. Well, I am going to be issuing a public challenge to Mr. Hassan Piker, who I happen to respect a lot. And I want to make sure that he gets this message, so please, smash like. Smash that like button just like I smashed your mom. Hassan, I challenge you to redistribute your $200,000 2022 Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Ah, uh, la la la, wait till I get my money right. And your $2.7 million LA mansion to me because I too believe that the poor need to get richer and the rich need to get poorer solely based on the fact that this currently benefits me. I'm not going to, for instance, um, I'll use Hassan as an example. I'm not going to talk to a black person like Trihex and say, hey, the N-word, it's always black. What do you think black people have? What a f***ing liar, dude. What a f***ing Weasley little liar, dude. What a f***ing Weasley little liar, dude. Holy s***, dude. Me. Holy f***ing s***. The number one thing about lasagna that I just cannot seem to grasp around my head is how in the world does one come to a point in their life where they have the ideas and the thoughts that this man has? What has to happen in your life for you to become so horrendously stupid? The biggest scourge, scourge that affects our society against all of the cultural and social progress we've seen is the battle against intellectual thought. What makes it? So you go around saying, oh, I love socialism. Oh, I love Marxism. A distinctly Marxist argument, by the way. Just because it's Marxist doesn't mean it's a bad idea. Stop being an no. idiot. Um, I am a communist. But then you go LARP. Yes, you heard that right. LARP on GTA for 8 out of the 24 hours of the day for one year straight for no reason other than capitalistic gain. How can this be possible? How can you go around and say, what is wrong with this dude? Didn't he go to war and like literally lose his eye because some Mujahideen, a brave f***ing soldier, f***ed his eye hole with their f***? Isn't that how he lost his f***ing eye? Because he got his f***ing eye hole? America deserved 9-11, dude. I'm saying it. But then purchase a home, which is excessively large and luxurious, by the way, and purchase land for $3 million and then pay an excessive amount of both property and income taxes in that same country that you claim to hate so much. Why would you not just buy a home in the greatest nation on earth? I'm quite confident that if we ship this man off to the motherland, he could just still sit in his room and eat lunch while he streams to his audience of amazing strong American citizens. You've been trolled, you've been trolled, yes, you've probably been told. Don't reply to this guy, he's just trying to get a rise out of you. Yes, it's true, you respond and that's his cue to start trouble on the double while he strokes his manly stubble. You've been trolled, you've been trolled, you should probably just fold when the only winning fool is not to play. And yet you keep on trying, mindlessly replying. You've been trolled, you've been trolled. Have a nice day.